sebo beba to be noni mwenge Nimbele kum ya nongo mbana One, two, one, two Okay, bon appétit Merci, thank you Me? Petty is a Hungarian first name Peter Yeah Can I? Put it anywhere. Okay, but not on your base. I mean, so you you have a, an amazing musical career, and you 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 born and, and raised up in, in Cameroon, yeah, in a small village, and now you live in New York. And how did you get started? How how did you get started to to play music? And why? Uh, I started, I don't know why, but I started because uh, my grandfather was a musician, my mother, and so the Bavarian instrument when I was three years old. Yeah. As a kid, I just started to. Were your parents uh, supportive of playing music? My mother and my grandfather, yeah. Yeah. They were, they were musicians too, so you know, I see. they can only be supportive. Uh, what do you find the most important thing? Uh, the, the most important driver for, for music uh, is it is it for you? Uh, I mean, is it commitment or gift, talent? It's a combination of all, all or luck, these things. Or a bit of luck. Luck? I don't. I don't. I don't think it's. It's important. I don't uh -huh. believe in luck. You know. Uh -huh. I mean, we have a destiny too. I mean, if we all believe in it's luck, true. and yeah, it's true. every person has its own destiny. So. I, I believe in talent is more like uh, uh, talent is something we're born with and at the same time you need to maintain it. If you don't maintain your talent, it's like a gift. If you don't maintain the gift, you'll be given to be lost. and it's going to be going to be lost, uh -huh, you know, I so I don't think it's a lock or whatever, it's uh -huh. also yes. depend on every one of us uh -huh. to maintain whatever talent we, we are. Uh, who were your main musical influences? <laughs> yeah, my grandfather was probably the first yeah? one okay. I grew up with him, you know, uh -huh. and, uh, and then after when I started listening to jazz music with Jacob Sturridge, my okay. favorite, Chet Baker, all this, modern musician, jazz musician, yeah. and uh, and I try to what I'm trying what I try to do is to 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 build my own music out of all these influences, out of these experiences and what I learned from others. Trying to make my own music. That's you know. And how do you remember uh, the days when you played in France, in, in Paris, when you moved to Paris? If I remember what? Uh, how how do you remember the days uh, in, in in Paris playing music and, and in a different environment? It was fun. I mean, uh, music doesn't have a music doesn't have a country. Music. Uh, so why? But it was country? a new new place for you. I mean. Yeah. I mean, why? Where the wasn't we play? problem for you? Uh -huh. No, we never have problem playing music. You know, we play music traveling all the time around the country. Uh -huh. We don't play music different because we're in Russia or we're in New York or in Africa. We just play music, you know, because it comes from the heart. That's a good thing about it. Music goes over the dimension of a conception, of a human conception. Music is more spiritual than anything else. It's not just human, which is good, because it comes from here. When I play, I don't make a difference, because oh, I'm in Poland now, I'm in England, or I'm in Cameroon, or I'm in Russia. No, we just play music, because it comes from a place. Uh, I will give you another example. Sometimes you meet some people you don't even know. As soon as we started to play, we become friends, uh -huh. you know? Because of the music, but these people, if I met them in a subway in a city, we won't even look at each other sometimes. Uh -huh. But because of the music, right away we connected. So music goes over beyond, you know, the conception yeah, of the human. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't have any country. I don't think. And how, how did it happen when you when you moved to New York? Who invited you? Or, or? nobody really invited me. I just went to New York. You know, uh -huh. I thought France was. I had enough of France. Like I'm having enough of. New York now, I will probably move somewhere else, so, you know, as we like, I'm more like a traveler, but it uh -huh. doesn't have anything to do with any situation, specific situation, it's just, you know, just to to refresh your brain and to refresh your your ideas, sometimes I need to travel, so, of course. that's what I do. And New York is the ideal place for you as a jazz musician yeah. as well? I wouldn't call myself, I hate the, the, that term uh, as a jazz musician. I'm just a musician. Oh, okay. You know, I'm just a musician. I don't. You don't categorize. I don't categorize or myself. Categorize any music. No. <laughs> it's true. Uh, in 1999, you released your first solo album. Yeah. Since from my life. 
and it was it was uh, supported by Bradford and Sonic, if I'm right. Yeah, and uh, Sony Columbia, yeah. And, and, and Columbia Records. Yeah. And have you got uh, any more support from other uh, peers in New York? Yeah, I'm signed with Universal now. I was uh -huh. with Columbia before. I did two records there. Uh, I did two records with Universal now. Uh -huh. So I've been supported by record company since then, you know. And uh, I know how bad is uh, the situation these days, but you know, uh, we still out there playing music, you know. Record company or no record company, I'll be out there playing music for sure. Since, since why you. Uh well, are you a part of the international uh, music industry? Did they try? Uh, I mean, they, uh, the uh, record companies, ever try to influence you, your your own style, your own music? Did they ever try it? Maybe record company try in the beginning, but nobody tried to influence me anymore. Uh -huh. Because uh, I, I think I think I, I made an impact on my own now with my music. You know, I, I basically let people know this is kind of music I want to play this is what I want to do you know so I think people understood that so sure. now I don't think anyone will come again trying to to tell me this is what we want you to do you know they do that with young artists sometimes but uh, I mean I welcome any ideas but they don't impose me anything to do in a record company mm -hmm. yeah. I've heard a story uh, from you uh, on, a, on a video that you, once you you you, were, you met with Miles Davis face to face. How, how did it happen? That happened in Paris. Yeah, really. The festival, yeah. And have, have you talked? No, no, no. We didn't talk. He talked to me. And, yeah, really. And that was and what, 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 what happened? He asked me if I was a musician. I told him no. <laughs> yeah, really. Said, yeah. Quickly, it happened what five seconds? And and you you, you know the answer why you replied? Uh, you know. I don't know, because uh, it, it, just, just, uh, it just happened so I was going to the reaction. dressing uh -huh. room, uh, I, mean, I was going to the bathroom, he was going to the bathroom, so I got surprised. Maybe yeah, if I saw him coming, uh -huh. if I saw him coming from far away, I would prepare Funny myself. Too, yeah. So, you know, it happened quick, so I wasn't ready, and when you're 20 years uh -huh. old, it's... Wow, it's nice, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you like playing with uh, drummers like, like Mini Color Yuta? Vinny Kulayut, yeah. 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 He's a, a good, good friend of yours? Yeah. 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 Vinny's a very good drummer, good musician. Of course, yeah. And, uh, That's why I'm asking you. I'm just and curious. And really, really, uh, really patient and really, you know, I guess he's a really good uh -huh. drummer, you know, a good musician. Uh -huh. uh, you were often called by the by the press, by the media, as the, the African, the African thing. Yeah. Do, do you agree with that? or? I let the media Do you call. like his music at all? I like Sting, but, yeah, no. you know, if someone's gonna call me African sing, what am I gonna say? You know, I always sing. I don't care to tell you the truth. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, as uh, I, I really I love what Sting is doing. You yeah. know, but I don't think I, I don't see any similarity of what I'm doing. Yeah. Sing. But then again, that's the media. When you play yeah, the, the bass, bass, you sing. You 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 Paul McCartney, African Paul McCartney, yeah. African singer. <laughs> you know, it's I only just, categorizing exactly. you again. But no? well, they will never make it all the way around saying that Paul McCartney is. Uh, as an English, uh, the African the English born, they will never say that. It's always on the one side, you know. Uh -huh. It's always on the one side. This is uh, African Jimmy and this African, you know. <laughs> I don't care. I, to tell you the truth, I don't really care. I just yeah, play I my see. music and. I... Back to your albums and songs. Uh, do you sing in, in Duala? Yeah. Don't you? Uh, do you improvise uh, singing as well? Yeah. Yeah. And. I, I know that your lyric, lyrics are, are about many things, so basically you're, you're a storyteller, if yes, I'm right. I am. You're, you're uh, singing about your experience in Africa. I sing about life, like yeah. anybody else. Things that surround about you everything. and things that happen and things that... And sometimes that didn't happen to me. Sometimes I read some, I sing some story about other people too, you know. I sing a story about nature, about the forest, um, about ocean, about, you know, life. What comes Yeah, from whatever you surrounds me, that, yeah, what uh -huh. comes to me naturally. Uh, this is the sixth or fifth time here in Budapest for you, and once you've been to West Berlin as well. How, how do you like? How do you I like don't know Budapest? how many times I came to Budapest, but uh, I've been here a few times. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you like our city? How do you like I the like country? It. I like the country. I like the food. I, yeah. You, know, I like the, you eat goulash as well. Yeah, I eat the goulash all, <laughs> all the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, people and great friends, you know. Yeah. 
great audience. Yeah, I got to say, you know, I don't know the whole country, but uh -huh. I went to Budapest. I, will, I came to West Prem last time. Okay. And tomorrow I'm going to uh, Sonok. Sonok. Yeah, we just talked yesterday. Sonok. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's been good everywhere. So Do you know, know the Hungarian uh, musicians and f uh, famous composers as well? Like... Uh, yeah, Bartók or Franz Liszt. Yeah, I mean those, but I thought you were yeah, talking about Young. Or Attila Soler, yeah. and even Joe Zawinul is, is a bit of Hungarian, Austrian Hungarian as well. Zawinul is Hungarian? Yeah, uh, he's grandmother. Oh, his grandmother? Oh, yeah, okay. he's Hungarian. Uh, you always seem to be very, very positive and happy and optimistic, and, and you capture your audience. Uh, very much, and, and you have a lot of fun on, on stage as well. Mm. A very good sense of humor. While while, while you you're a born you're you're a born musician, you're a true talent. Uh, beside this, uh, where where do you get this uh, enormous amount of positive energy? I get it because I feel grateful when I see people in the room that choose to come see. Awesome say uh -huh. these people they could be doing anything else. I always goes to my mind. I remember when I was a kid, you know, my yeah. grandfather always told me, you know, these people they could stay home, they could do other things, but they came to see us. So we need to we need to we need to entertain them. Uh -huh. You know, these people they could go to movie. They don't have to come here. Yeah. They could listen to my music home and have so a good your, your energy is really come is coming oh, from yeah, the audience. Actually, actually, yeah, from the audience. And, and it's a, it is a uh, yeah, and, 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 it's contagious, and it's contagious. I think uh -huh. the audience is important very, to have a good audience too, yeah. you know. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I get some energy from the audience too. Normally. It's like a ping pong. Uh, yeah. yeah. Give and take. With, with emotion yeah. and, and musical yeah. experience. What kind of basses do you use uh, for there, currently? Five string for there. Yeah? Here you can see. Is it a. What's its brand? Fodera. Mm -hmm. Fodera, yeah. Fodera, uh -huh. five string emperor. Draw and pick up. Emperor, five uh -huh. string. Is it true that you're teaching based at the New York University? So may I call you uh, Professor Bona? You call me Professor, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, what kind of music do you listen to nowadays in your... In your I always uh, listen to all kind of music. Any kind of music? Indian, African, uh -huh. jazz. You know, I listen to a lot of kind of different music. Uh, and what, what, what do you do when you are not playing any music? I play music. I don't have... You're just sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I don't have... Like, do you uh, have any hobbies or favorite sports? No, activities? I don't have hobbies. Music, so, music. So you live for music? Yeah, a music, music lives for you. Time, yeah. <laughs> I hate other hobbies. What are your, your uh, current goals for, for the near future in, uh, till the end of 2006 and 2007? Just to play music, that's my goal. If I could play music, you know, every morning when I wake up, I'm like, I'm gonna play music today. Uh -huh. That's uh, that's a blessing there. That's one more day to play more music, you know, chance to play more music, you know. Can I ask you a, a question about your family? Do you have a wife and kids? I don't answer those questions. Okay. Excuse me. No, it's alright. Uh, I saw your, your recently released DVD, African Tale, and uh, there's a question at the end of the film. When will you return to Minta? Everyone is asking. When am I Do you know when, when will you return? When they put electricity in my village, I will go to a concert. <laughs> okay. There's no electricity there. Uh -huh. When uh, they put electricity, we will go do a concert. <laughs> but now it's, it's rock and roll. It is they want me to come and play, but they not. It was mostly easy conditions to yeah. play music. I, I see. Because now they think I still play acoustic, but now it's electric. So, you know, I, I, need, I need some electricity. Thank you very much for the research. Thank you. I have a present for you. You have a white cushion? I have a present for you. It's good ash? No. See, Hungarian wine is the best Topai wine. It's sweet. Oh, this is sweet. I yeah. only drink sweet wine, so that's yes. good. So it's after the desert or the cookies or whatever you eat after the gulash. Here you can see uh, some some documentation about it. It's, of that wine? it's the very best now. 
And here's my here's my greetings for you, okay? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. Don't forget your microphone. Can I ask you about, about the uh, title of the song? Which uh, yesterday you haven't played, but normally you, you're playing it uh, af right after uh, Mike's turn switching well. It's a, it's a very nice melody. It has a an, it has an old, awesome uh, soprano saxophone solo in it. I didn't play yesterday. What was the title of this? And it, it hasn't been released. Balakatun. Balakatun? Yeah. And has, hasn't haven't been it released? <laughs> no, not. But it was written by you. No, but not down to you. Sorry? Mark, mm -hmm. It's about the tune. It's a French composer. Yeah, French of yeah. And uh, what was the what was the last song uh, last night? The very last song. Dedicado. Oh, last song. The very last song. Ghana you, blues. You, uh, sorry? Ghana blues. Uh -huh. By Ghana. It's my song. Ghana blues. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana yeah. blues. Ghana and what does Mambo mean, by the way, in Ibiza Baba, which means uh, together forever, if I'm right? Mambo means things. All the things. Things, uh huh, in your language. Yeah. Thank you very much again. Thanks so much. Looking forward to see the concert tonight? Yeah, enjoy the show. <laughs> you do? Uh, this interview is going to be published on several Hungarian internet sites mm -hmm. on smart music, on, on music. On uh, rhythm people. Okay. I'm, I'm not a professional journalist, I'm a fan. So say hi to all the smart and rhythm people. <laughs> Tell them life is good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.